We've got a broken lifter on this Jeep Liberty, so before we put it back together, we want to verify that the other head and all the valves are good. Now, because we're taking off the head, we've got the harmonic balancer off and a lot of the other parts. You can see the casting is completely broken on the head where the lifter used to be. And the valve seat is also damaged, so this head is shot. So we've got a reconditioned head that'll go in its place. Now, we want to make sure that the other head is in good shape with all the valves. So we've got a rubber hose in where the spark plug is with a balloon on the top. So when we crank the piston to top dead center, the balloon's gonna puff up on the compression stroke. This rubber hose is from a leak down tester, so there's no one-way valve in this hose. So we just use a regular balloon. Now with a ratchet, we turn the crankshaft. As we pull the piston down, you can see the balloon shrink. And as we go into the compression stroke, you can see the balloon expand. By watching the balloon, we can see where the piston is. You can see if the piston is going down. If you know the piston's coming up and the balloon's not inflated, you know that's the exhaust stroke because the balloon wouldn't puff up because all the air is going out the exhaust. Now on the compression stroke, it's gonna inflate. Notice how the balloon inflates and then quickly deflates. The valve's closed, so the air is escaping out of these valves while they're closed. So this balloon is showing us a leaky valve. Now, if we put this balloon on another cylinder that we know is in good shape, watch how the balloon puffs up and stays up. Now, the air will eventually escape through the piston rings slowly, but not through the valves. Now, the balloon gives us a quick indication if the valve is bad, but a leak down tester will tell us exactly how much it's leaking. Now, when you're doing a test like this, this compressed air can move the piston back fast on you. Make sure you have a firm grip on the wrench. Now, after we clean this valve with compressed air, everything showed that the valve was fine. There was a little bit of debris in there. Typically, you'd have to pull the head off and relap the valve, or more than that. So while we know we have to pull the other head off, we want to make sure the other head and all the valves are in perfect condition. So first, we just check it all out with the balloon to make sure that we're on top dead center, then test it. Now, when that debris was in the valve, you could actually feel the air coming out of here. So using this balloon is pretty handy to be able to determine where top dead center is. And if it deflates too quickly, that can tell you something too. If one cylinder reacts a lot different than the others, you want to take note of that. This balloon in the back is definitely holding. Now that we know the one head is good and the other's not, we'll go ahead and start taking off the head. We'll line up the timing marks, take off the chains, and swap out the head. So next time you're checking valves to see if they're any good, this little balloon might speed things up. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.